Have you ever pondered the nature of time and questioned whether it truly exists? Time, as we know it, is perhaps one of the most universally accepted notions we encounter in our everyday lives. It's an enigma that weaves itself into the very fabric of our existence. Imagine an invisible thread, unwinding endlessly into the future and stretching back into the past. This is time, or at least how we've come to understand it. A linear progression, a steady march from the cradle to the grave. It's an understanding as old as civilization itself, echoed in the falling grains of an hourglass, the ticking hands of a clock, or the steady pulse of a beating heart. This perception of time is so deeply embedded in our lives, it's nearly impossible to disentangle ourselves from it. We measure our lives in years, months, days, hours, and seconds. We plan for the future, reminisce about the past, and try to seize the present moment. We use phrases like, time heals all wounds, time flies, and time is money. Our language, our culture, our very way of thinking, all are steeped in this understanding of time as a linear progression. But let's take a moment to challenge this familiar concept. Consider the possibility that our perception of time is not an absolute truth, but rather a construct, a framework that we've created to make sense of our world. What if time, as we know it, is not a universal constant, but rather a human invention, a tool that we've crafted to navigate the complex maze of existence? This idea may seem bizarre, even unsettling. After all, the notion of time is so deeply ingrained in our consciousness that to question it can feel like pulling at the threads of reality itself. But as we journey deeper into this enigma, we'll discover that the nature of time is far from straightforward. But what if this understanding of time is nothing more than a construct of our minds? Imagine a world where the past, present, and future exist simultaneously. Sounds like a science fiction tale, doesn't it? But this is precisely how the concept of time can be perceived. Time as we understand it is not a fixed entity, but a fluid, ever-changing phenomenon that we experience subjectively. Let's delve into this further. Our perception of time is influenced by a multitude of factors and varies greatly from person to person. Imagine you're sitting in a dull meeting, glancing at the clock every few minutes. Time seems to crawl, doesn't it? Now picture yourself engrossed in a gripping novel or a thrilling movie. Hours fly by and you're left wondering where the time went. This discrepancy is not an anomaly, but a testament to the subjective nature of time. Our emotional state and level of focus can dramatically alter our perception of time's passage. When we're bored or waiting for something, time tends to drag. Conversely, when we're engrossed or excited, time appears to fly. Even the rhythm of our heartbeats can affect our perception of time. Studies have shown that individuals with faster heart rates often perceive time as passing more quickly than those with slower heart rates. This is because our internal body clock or circadian rhythm is linked to our heart rate and metabolic processes. So, what does this all mean? It's a fascinating reminder that time, as we perceive it, is not a universal constant, but a flexible, malleable construct. It's an elastic band that stretches and contracts based on our experiences, emotions, and physiological states. In essence, time is not an external entity that imposes its will upon us, but rather, we shape and mold it through our perceptions and experiences. It's a dance, a tango between the external world and our internal states. This shows that time, as we perceive it, is flexible and not set in stone. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? And it leads us to ask even more intriguing questions about the nature of time itself, which we'll explore in the coming scenes. Stay tuned. In the realm of physics, time takes on a whole new dimension. It's not a mere ticking away of seconds, minutes, and hours on a clock. No, it's far more intriguing and mind-bending than that. Albert Einstein, one of the greatest minds of the 20th century, turned our understanding of time upside down with his theory of relativity. According to him, time is not absolute, it's relative. What does that mean? Well, imagine two people, one standing still on Earth and the other zooming past in a spaceship at close to the speed of light. If they could somehow compare their watches, they'd find that time was moving slower for the astronaut than for the person on Earth. Yes, you heard it right. Time slows down as you approach the speed of light. This phenomenon is known as time dilation, but that's not all. Time also bends around massive objects. This is due to the fact that massive objects like stars and black holes distort the space-time fabric around them. So if you were to orbit a black hole, your time would tick away much slower compared to someone far away from the black hole. 
It's as if these massive objects have a hold on time itself, making it crawl at their vicinity. To comprehend this, picture time not as a straight line but as a flexible sheet, one that can be stretched and squeezed by the objects within it. This view of time, though counterintuitive, is supported by numerous experiments and observations. In the realm of physics, time is not a relentless march forward. It's a dynamic entity, subject to the whims of space, speed, and gravity. It's not a universal constant, but a variable that changes based on where you are and how fast you're moving. So, the next time you glance at your watch, remember that it's not just ticking away seconds, it's giving you a glimpse into one of the most fascinating aspects of our universe. In the world of physics, time is not a straight line, but a malleable entity. But if time is so flexible and relative, can we say it truly exists? This is the question that has perplexed philosophers and scientists alike for centuries. Let's step into the realm of the abstract for a moment. Could it be that time is nothing more than an illusion? A construct that our minds have created to make sense of the world around us? It's a thought-provoking concept, isn't it? To unravel this, let's think about how we experience time. We perceive it as a continuous stream, flowing from the past through the present and into the future. But some philosophers argue that this isn't quite accurate. They suggest that only the present moment really exists. The past, they say, is just a collection of memories stored in our brains, and the future is nothing but a projection of our hopes, fears, and expectations. Both are constructs of the mind, not tangible realities. Scientists, too, have their doubts about the objective existence of time. As we've seen in the realm of physics, the flow of time isn't universal. It can be bent, stretched, and even seemingly stopped. If time were a concrete, unchanging entity, these phenomena would be impossible. Furthermore, some theories in quantum mechanics propose that at the smallest scales, time as we understand it ceases to exist. Instead, there's a state of timeless, spaceless existence where cause and effect lose their meaning. So, if the past is just a memory, the future a projection, and the present moment the only thing that seems real, what does that tell us about time? Is it merely a mental framework we use to organize our experiences like chapters in a book? These theories might seem radical, even uncomfortable, but they challenge our understanding of reality and invite us to think deeper about the nature of our existence. This leads us to question the very existence of time. So, does time really exist or is it a figment of our imagination? Let's attempt to summarize some of the main points we've discussed so far. We began by exploring the enigma of time, a concept so deeply ingrained in our existence that we often take it for granted. We saw how our perception of time, while seemingly consistent, varies significantly between individuals. A minute waiting for a bus feels longer than a minute spent laughing with friends. This subjective nature of time is a fascinating quirk of our consciousness and suggests that time may not exist as a concrete, objective entity. Next, we dove into the world of physics, where our conventional understanding of time gets turned on its head. According to the theories of relativity, time is not a constant but a flexible dimension that can stretch and shrink. It's influenced by gravity and speed, leading to mind-boggling phenomena like time dilation. Such flexibility seems at odds with our everyday experience of time, further fueling the notion that time might not exist in the way we think it does. Finally, we ventured into the realm of philosophy, where thinkers have long debated the existence of time. Some argue that time is nothing more than a mental construct, a tool we humans have developed to make sense of the world. Others assert that time is a fundamental aspect of reality, regardless of our perceptions or measurements. So where does all this leave us? Well, it seems that time, as we understand it, is not as straightforward as it appears. It's subjective, flexible, and potentially illusory. It might be a concrete dimension, a mental construct, or something entirely different. The truth is, we're still trying to figure it out. In the end, the existence of time may be more about perception than reality. It's a concept that continues to baffle and intrigue us and perhaps always will.